you've proven your mettle once again. You've brought my brother back. For better or worse, the Pantheon is repairing his wounds, both of the body and the mind. Speak to him. Well, if it isn't my shimmering savior, how does it feel, hero, to defeat a god in single combat? I, for one, feel oddly... liberated. I get to sit around in the Pantheon and heal while you... Wandering. I remember wandering. I used to walk the desert in the past. I don't know how or why I came to be at the heart of the desert. I recall only dark- I saw fallen comrades. Every champion that died with my name on their lips. I saw bones. Scores of bones. Piled- I saw mirages. Visions. I felt the cold breath of my long-dead sister. Felt the world beneath me. Fall into nothing and the formlessness of the shroud, and then reform. I wandered the desert, but the desert wandered within me too. Through it all, there was but one constant, a shadow. Something so gargantuan, its very presence devours light. The God Slayer. It knows us, you see. It has always known us. And it has returned to finish what it once started. There. Now, if that isn't worth some wildwood brew, I don't know what is. The desert was lovely. But my head is feeling... light. What was that? Perun? Who needs Perun? Hero, we've no time to seek the God of Thunder. The Titan has arrived at the very walls of Igmen. The backbone of the world trembles at its coming. You must go to Igman before it is too late. People are dying in droves! The Titan has finally arrived! And I think he means to break Eggman once and for all!
Watching them, Nakula. Titans are not usually creatures of premeditation and planning. They are primal forces of destruction whose very existence serves only to return all to the Shroud. Primeval is different. Ever since his first fateful encounter with the children of Svarog, when Marana fell, he has changed. Primeval has been said to be the one behind the three demonic invasions, but has always been a shadowy figure orchestrating the assault from within the Shroud. He has never led an attack personally, relying on lieutenants such as Usud to do his bidding until now. has come to Igman. <coughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it.
The walls of Eekman have fallen. Not even they could withstand that monstrosity. We must retreat deeper into the fort. Give the people time to escape and hide. Once... I knew I could count on you. Back to the fort! It is our only glimmer of hope. Retreat with prudence! Make them pay for Eegman's sh- Sweet sustenance! Are you watching them, Nakula? for blood. Spoken too soon, and for that, I am punished. Perrin bless us. We have to soldier on. It is not the Garda that made Eegman impenetrable, but the resilience of its people. The evacuation is not yet complete. There are caverns below, older than the fort itself. It is our last chat. You've done much for us, hero. Do this one last thing. Go to the balcony above the cave entrance, and defend it with your life. I shall hold the lower access, while the people escape into the caverns. Whatever happens, champion. My people. How little remain, huddled in caravans. This pantheon will not take them in. The gods cannot save them.
was the final caravan. Join me in the caverns. Perhaps all is not lost. I've only just begun. This is but the first of many triumphs. There you are. I feared you remained on the walls in one last stand. No need for this. The survivors hide in the caves, but we are not- These caverns are ancient. There is a shrine underneath that has been buried, forgotten, and I had hoped it will remain so. Take care when you explore the caverns. There are secret- I have no use of frozen blood. The heat of battle should take care of that.
the power within the blood. Frightened yet? There must be There is no time to move. The shrine I have told you about, I'm afraid it has come to this. It is a shrine to a forgotten god. be denied. Then Nakula will fall.
Where am I? Is this the Pantheon? Did I die? Yes, warrior. You did die on that battlefield. Had we more time, I would explain, but alas, I... Now, we are running out of time. Primeval has destroyed the Igman Fortress, and the Shroud is overflowing the land. Our last resort is a god seldom... Sp no! Stop there, old man! The people of Igman are still down there. The gods might have abandoned them, but we must not! Hero, if you are truly as brave as you've demonstrated, go back... So be it. Listen to young Snegarod here, for he brings a smile to my face. I will speak to you of forgotten shrines and forgotten gods. Blood for blood.
Primeval is coming. He anticipates we are up to something. The Forgotten God must be awakened. This will buy us time, I believe. The people of Igman are high- Good luck, hero. It has been an honor to witness your rise. <laughs> I've only just begun. This is but the first of many triumphs.
Hey, great job. You've awakened some kind of dark force, unknown even to the guards. I really see no way this could- This is not the time to jest, Velus. Champion, I know not what kind of force you've unleashed, but it has stalled Primeval for now. Igman has fallen, which means the Shroud has begun to spew forth over the land of Rod. Without our brother, Perun, we have no hope of defeating him or his horde of ancient demons. Hey, speaking of ancient, where's old Creaky Bones? The old mystic knew a bit about where Perun's champion could be, but I'm telling you, my brother is probably in some kind of spa nursing a hangover. Pardon me, O oh great Velus. I am no old mystic, but I am a devotee of Perrin, and so was my cousin. He left long ago to serve Perrin in the swamplands of Adria. There is a temple there, one where the Stormlord is worshipped. Perhaps that might be a starting point for your quest. <laughs>